Greater Anglia, legal name Abellio East Anglia Limited, is a train operating company in Great Britain owned as a joint venture by Abellio, the international arm of the state-owned Dutch national rail operator Nederlands Spoorwegen and the Japanese company Mitsui. It operates the East Anglia franchise, providing the majority of commuter, regional services from its central London terminus at London Liverpool Street to Essex, Suffolk, Norfolk and parts of Hertfordshire and Cambridgeshire as well as many regional services throughout the east of England. Abellio began operating the franchise, then known as the Greater Anglia franchise, in February 2012. Initially it traded under the same name until it rebranded as Abellio Greater Anglia in December 2013. In May 2015, most of the company's suburban services were transferred to London Overground and the precursor to Crossrail, TfL Rail. The franchise was retended as the East Anglia franchise and awarded to Abellio in August 2016. The company resumed trading as Greater Anglia on the 16th of October 2016 when the new franchise commenced. In January 2017, Abellio announced that subject to gaining Department for Transport approval, it had agreed to sell a 40% stake in the business to Mitsui. The sale was completed in March 2017. History Topic. Background In December 2003 the Strategic Rail Authority awarded the Greater Anglia franchise to National Express, with one commencing operations starting on 1 April 2004. The franchise was to run until March 2011, with provision for a three-year extension if performance targets were met. In November 2009 the Department for Transport announced that National Express would not be granted the three-year extension for which it had met the criteria, after National Express East Coast had defaulted on the Intercity East Coast franchise, following a change of government as a result of the 2010 general election, the Department for Transport announced in June 2010 that all refranchising would be put on hold while a review was conducted into the franchising process. As a result, National Express East Anglia was granted an initial extension until October 2011, followed by another until February 2012. Topic: Abellio granted franchise. In March 2011, the Department for Transport announced that Abellio, Go Ahead, and Stagecoach had been shortlisted to bid for the franchise. In October 2011, it awarded the new franchise to Abellio. The services operated by National Express East Anglia transferred to Greater Anglia on the 5th of February 2012. The franchise was originally to run until July 2014. The reason for awarding a short franchise, at the same time as the government was speaking of a desire to move to longer franchises, was to allow the government to digest the recommendations of the McNulty Rail Value for Money study before letting a long-term franchise. In March 2013 the Secretary of State for Transport announced the franchise would again be extended until 15 October 2016. Greater Anglia was rebranded as Abellio Greater Anglia in December 2013. 
On 31 May 2015 the Liverpool Street to Enfield Town, Chesant via Seven Sisters and Chingford services, as well as the Romford to Upminster service, transferred to London Overground Rail operations. On the same day, the Liverpool Street to Shenfield stopping services transferred to the TfL Rail concession managed by MTR. On the 22nd of December 2014, the refurbishment of the company's fleet of Mark III carriages began, involving a total internal rewiring, new toilets with waste retention tanks, improved Wi-Fi provision, plug sockets at each seat, and a complete refresh of body panels, carpets and seat covers. The refurbishment program was completed in 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Franchise renewal In June 2015, an Abellio 60%, Stagecoach 40%, joint venture, First Group and National Express were shortlisted to bid for the franchise. In December 2015 it was announced that Stagecoach had pulled out of the joint bid with Abellio, and that Abellio would continue the bid alone. In August 2016, it was announced that Abellio had successfully bid to retain the franchise until 2025. A franchise commitment is to purchase 1,043 new carriages, 660 from Bombardier Transportation's Derby Litchurch Lane Works with the other 383 to be built by Stadler Rail. In January 2017, Abellio announced that subject to gaining Department for Transport approval, it had agreed to sell a 40% stake in the business to Mitsui. In August 2017, amidst a background of ongoing rail strikes on a national level, Greater Anglia conductors voted in favour of going on strike in a dispute over planned ticket office closures and the planned introduction of more widespread driver only operation on the Greater Anglia network. Industrial action has been held on numerous occasions since October 2017, and the dispute remains unresolved as of February 2018. Greater Anglia has been criticized by the RMT for their alleged strike breaking tactics. Franchise commitments Topic Greater Anglia Franchise twenty twelve to twenty sixteen A number of improvements were planned during the first franchise period twenty twelve to twenty sixteen, which included Improved station and ticket facilities and better information for passengers A text messaging service to keep passengers informed of any disruptions Extending Oyster card pay as you go capabilities between London Liverpool Street and Shenfield, Hartford East Mobile phone and print at home ticketing facilities 600 extra car park spaces at stations Additional bicycle storage facilities New automatic ticket barriers at Brentwood No automatic ticket barrier was installed by Abellio and management of the station later passed to TfL Rail. East Anglia franchise 2016 to 2025 The following improvements have been planned as part of the Abellio bid for the East Anglia franchise 2016 to 2025 Replacement of the entire current fleet, with 1,043 new vehicles by September 2020 to run on the rural, intercity, Stansted Express, West Anglia and Great Eastern routes. 
extensive refurbishment of some of the existing vehicles, prior to replacement. Raise public performance measure scores to at least 92.9%. Two weekday trains operating between Norwich and Ipswich to London with a journey time of 90 minutes and 60 minutes respectively. Free Wi-Fi on trains and stations. £60 million investment for station upgrades with a focus on Broxbourne, Cambridge, Chesant, Harlow Town and Southend Victoria stations. Introduction of digital information screens on all stations with improvements in car and cycle parking 1,800 and 4,000 extra spaces respectively along with upgrades to ticket offices and vending machines. New ticketing programs with offers for infrequent travelers and part-time workers. Introduction of an automatic delay repay service for season and advance ticket holders. £120 million of investment into depots with a new maintenance facility at Manningtree. Hiring of 20 trainees per year and at least 30 apprenticeships by 2019. Extension of the Gainsborough Line from Marks Tay to Colchester Town. Reintroduction of four direct Lowestoft to London services on the East Suffolk Line. Improving the frequency of the Ipswich to Ely Line services to Peterborough from every two hours to hourly with some additional services extending to Colchester. Topic Services As of May 2017, the following services operate during the off peak period, Monday to Saturday. Topic Stansted Express Greater Anglia operates the Stansted Express sub-branded airport rail link between London Liverpool Street and Stansted Airport. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Dutch Flyer. Greater Anglia operates the Dutch Flyer sub-branded boat train between London Liverpool Street and Harwich International. There is no special livery for trains. Topic: Performance. The latest punctuality statistics released by Network Rail for period 7 of 2013-2014 were 94.0% ppm public performance measure down 1.0 percentage points on the same period last year and the MA moving annual average up to the 12th of October 2013 also fell slightly to 92.3%. In 2013, Abellio Greater Anglia was named Train Operator of the Year. However, a survey in February 2014 by the Consumer Group which, found that customer satisfaction of Abellio Greater Anglia was at last place out of 20 train operators with a satisfaction percentage of 40% and in 2016 Abellio Greater Anglia were rated the fourth worst UK train operator with a commuter rail services satisfaction rating of 35%. Topic: Rolling stock. Greater Anglia inherited a fleet of Class 90 Mark III carriages, driving van trailers, 
class 153, class 156 and class 170 diesel multiple units, and class 315, class 317, class 321, class 360 and class 379 electric multiple units from National Express East Anglia. Due to its short initial franchise term, Greater Anglia was not planning to introduce any new trains before their second franchise term started in October 2016. In November 2013, an online petition was launched, aiming to stop Greater Anglia trains from dumping raw sewage from the train toilets. There were also been concerns with the sewage mist from passing trains making network rail staff ill, and Greater Anglia announced it was working closely with the government to introduce a fleet upgrade. As of October 2016 all MK3 carriages and class 156 units have controlled emission toilets on the 31st of May 2015 the company's fleet of class 315 trains were cascaded to London Overground and TfL Rail and some class 317 trains have been cascaded to London Overground which has taken over local services in North and East London from the Greater Anglia franchise. Topic: <laughs> Current fleet. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Future fleet. In August 2016 it was announced 1,043 new carriages would be purchased, which will allow for all of the aging stock to be replaced, especially necessary given that a number of coaches are not compliant with accessibility requirements beyond 2019 and they would not be able to meet Abellio's new targets for lower journey times without extensive modification. Bombardier won a contract worth nearly £1 billion to build 111 Aventra electric multiple units and Stadler will also build 58 Flirt electric multiple units, all of which will come into service between January 2019 and September 2020. The following types of rolling stock are planned. Topic: Past fleet. Former units operated by Greater Anglia include. Topic: Depots. Greater Anglia's fleet is maintained at Clacton on Sea, Ilford, and Norwich Crown Point depots equals equals notes